cultural, like imaginative, is very important for indigenous peoples. Uh, oftentimes, it's difficult to come into the the mainstream festivals. So to have a kind of safe space and a kind of a community and a family, like uh, I feel there is at Imaginative. I think that's very important as an indigenous filmmaker. And I think it's a, it can, it's a place that can give me inspiration in, in terms of, like, I think people, uh, indigenous peoples have experienced a lot of the same historical uh, things as we have in Greenland. and. Um, it can give me inspirations of how to, you know, how do, is there anything in common in, in dealing with the, the problems that comes from our history? I think it's such a privilege when one of my films gets into a festival and at Imaginative, there's this um, feeling that I don't have to explain certain things. Like post-colonial issues and um, I can find ins inspiration in that uh, and like I think it's important also to that you know the, the this is like the, we, we, we all come from the kind of the corners of the world it's like and um, so it's interesting to see we're very different each of our the, the cultures that that meet there well it means a lot it can be like a very big uh how do you say it? Opportunity to to get people outside of Greenland to see our movies. They're just understood, which I think is really nice. But I get very aware of, of the need a lot of people or many people have to tell stories that we all have, regardless of where we're we're from. I think that's just really wonderful to see and be a part of. So it's it can be an inspiration and 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 can strengthen me and it makes me want to do film to to watch some of the, the how, how the other filmmakers have, have responded to our life as a filmmaker and a newly plumed filmmaker it's important for me to have a safe space to share the indigenous experience with the upcoming projects that i'm doing that i need it to be um, something that other indigenous people can mirror themselves in. I just recently directed my first uh, fictional short, so I'm hoping to finish that later this year. Besides that, I'm working on different projects that are uh, for the local audience or the Greenlandic audience. Right now we are currently in the production and post-production of a um, documentary we are calling White Paper. That is a documentary about the Gwynosuit mining project and the, <clears throat> and the indigenous people's right that are um, being uh, violated. Or, yeah, yeah. violated. violated. Uh, yes, uh, right now I'm working on, on a film that's completely without any people in it, uh, which is a new challenge. Uh, it's a, an art film project called The Green Land. I'm researching new, a new project and um, I'm not quite ready to tell about it, but I'm really excited about it. <laughs> uh, the fun part of filming in Greenland? Is there a fun part? <laughs> no. I mean, it's just a really exciting time right now. Uh, it's fun to work with, I mean, fun to work with people and, and laugh at people, but it's also, I mean, because it's so hard also to make film in Greenland. It's like the end of the world and it's like extreme conditions. Well, the good part of filming in Greenland is that we have a lot of Greenlandic mythology and stories in Greenland that we can kind of pick and choose and it, it, it hasn't been touched by like the Danish film industry or Hollywood. So it's like a big gold mine to see all, all those stories and we can just choose what we will. Or it's exciting to make films here in Greenland because it's so new. It's a new community or it's a new uh, industry. In, in every way. So it's the fun part is to work together with other people and, and have the, the same struggle, you know, and, and the, hopefully make it work.
My experience of the film industry here in Greenland is that everyone is really open-hearted and really welcoming. I don't know, it's, it's such a power-giving or powerful moment when, when it actually succeeds and you like the result, you like the people you've worked with and they've all been a part of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>